to be this is one show that would allow me to I'm going to show you how you can make your Android look like an iOS 10. So for this you have to download some apps, some from the Play Store and some from the links I have provided in the description. So make sure you have downloaded all the apps. So first I am talking about this eye launcher. After that you will get you will not get this size of icons. I am currently using an icon pack. I have also provided the name. So the apps which you have downloaded. So these are the apps like Associative Touch, Lock Screen, iNotify, Eye Launcher, Eye Camera, Flui. These are Flui is the icon pack. These are the six apps which you have to download from the links in the description. And after that, just install Eye Launcher, and you will get an interface like this. Not like this. It will look like this. Maybe some more large icons. So. It's not that much good if you want to make it to iOS. So you know, for this you can use layouts like if you want 4 rows, 5 rows, 6 rows. I love tablet so I am setting this. And you can also set icon size from here like if you want normal. If you want smallest then it will look like this. And if you want more small you can set it to zoom. And you also have icon packs you can just type in play store icon packs and you will see lots of icon packs just install it and click here and click annual and it will apply automatically you can change logo from here here you can change wallpapers we have fonts you can set your font color like auto if you want white or black so in app management we have apps like if you want to add a shortcut like any widget or any type of shortcut on your screen and you can also restore your hidden apps like you don't want this gmail so just hold it and click on it again and you will see some couple of options like if you want to change icon change title set this app as unset icon hide the app etc etc and if you want to hide the app just click on hide the app uh, if you want to restore go again in management click on restore hidden apps so just click on gmail and it will automatically restore you can also create custom home management from here we have the user interface you can set transition animations in the low end devices if you are getting lag in this you can turn off this transition animation search bar and navigation bar which is sliding to up you will get this search bar from here you can search your apps from your home screen directly so this is all about the eye launcher so the next thing I am going to talk about is this Azure Touch. So double tapping on this will help us to get our recently used apps easily. Single clicking on this will open this menu from here. You can access your notifications, your favorites, like from notifications directly from here. You have to turn your notification on from here, and you can lock your screen. You can go to home. You can set it to vibrate to silent easily. So what do you have to do in Azure Touch? You first have to enable the service. After that, you can choose layouts. You can choose colors. You can choose icons. Here we have lots of icons available. And whenever you not to use, it will get automatically transparent. So it's really an amazing. You can also set its transparency. If you want to uninstall it, really even here you can set gestures like what you want on single click. If you want to open panel, if you want to open recent apps, hide icon, etc. etc. So the next in our list is this lock screen. So here we have this lock screen you can activate. You have to turn off your system lock. I prefer you to set it to none, otherwise, you will get always that swipe to unlock notification. So here we have the active lock. Click on notification settings. If you want notification like auto wake display whenever you get a notification just turn it on but make sure that it will make your battery too much drain you can change lock screen from here if it's require internet connection you can limit lock screen you can change pin keypad styles keywords like this or this and you if you want to disable system lock so let me first show you the lock screen so
here I have my lock screen here you can see the notification in a large square style so just slide right and I'm going to enter so here it is unlocked so now about the notification here you can see that I am currently running AZ screen defaulter and it is showing notification if you want to clear just slide it to right and you can click on clear to remove the no notification from your notification bar and if you want to remove all just click here and from here you can easily search apps like just slide down and click here and you can easily search apps like calculator so here you can see that the apps are easily opening it's really fast it does not drain battery that much i'm using this from around four to five hours and i have not seen any type of lag if you really want to make your android look like ios 10 and you can see this icon packs i really love that which i have used you can use different icon packs easily and you can also use this in iNotify this here we have the control center so just light to up you can access your wi-fi data easily you can control your brightness if you want to light, shift it to night mode here we have the night mode also this is the best control center i have seen on play store we have available many but this is the best if you want to make your android look like some type not exactly but similar to ios 10 so from here you can access your quick focus like your flashlight your calculator compass etc etc so here in lock screen you can also use this quick toggle just light up and you can also access a different style of this quick toggles this is available in the lock screen app so from here you can turn on your wi-fi and you can access your calculator camera calendar and you can go into settings you can turn your brightness maximum to low easily so just unlock it and we have the last app in our list is this i camera it's look exactly same as the of the ios so from here you can easily click pictures so just slide right to access your video just slide left so here you can set your timings you can set if you want to just click picture so here you can see the picture is clicking very fastly you can use this to make your android look like an ios 10 too you can use different icon packs if you don't want this style just type in the place so icon packs and you can download anyone and it will be available in preferences personalization in icon packs here so guys this was a small video with which you can easily make your android feel like an ios i hope you really enjoyed this video and if you find this video useful a like will be appreciated and as always i'll see you in the next video thank you Ichigo.